Today, we will have a look at the Crystal Interface configuration of the Versa Clock 5. This is a VersaClock 5 oscillator with its X-in and X-out pins. Virtually any fundamental mode crystal can be connected to the X-in and X-out pins, as shown. The VersaClock 5 features internal tuning capacitors whose capacitance can be programmed to a value matching the crystal. To determine the tuning capacitance value, First, look for the CL value in your crystal datasheet. In this example, CL is 10 picofarad. The internal tuning capacitors of the VersaCode 5 have to match this value. The tuning capacitors consist of fixed capacitors of 9 picofarad each, plus variable capacitors in a range of 0 to 16 picofarad. The fixed capacitors, being in parallel, have an equivalent value of 4.5 picofarad. To match our 10 picofarad CL, the variable capacitors need to be set to a value of 5.5 picofarad. Each internal variable capacitor of the VersaClock 5 will have an actual value of 11 picofarad. If you use the VersaClock 5 custom part configuration utility, just enter this 5.5 picofarad value into the relevant field as shown here. Sometimes the CL of the crystal exceeds the tuning capabilities of the VersaClock 5 internal capacitors. This is the case when CL is greater than 12.5 picofarad. In this case, external capacitors need to be added to the board as shown. For maximum tuning range, choose the value of the external tuning capacitor with a programmable internal capacitor set to the middle of that range, which is an equivalent capacitance of 4 picofarad. Let's consider the following example. CL is 18 picofarad. The internal fixed capacitors of the VersaClock 5 are, as we know, 4.5 picofarad equivalent. And the internal variable capacitors have been set to an equivalent value of 4 picofarad. The external capacitor needs an equivalent value of 18 minus 4.5 minus 4, which is 9.5 picofarad. This translates to an individual capacitance of 19 picofarad for each capacitor. We hope this training has been helpful. Don't hesitate to contact IDT for any further question you might have.